I'm going to answer these three very important questions with a very simple concept. So my three questions, why does 0 over a equal 0? Now remember, a can be any number, 2, 3, 17, minus 32, pi. 0 over any real number is 0. a, any real number over 0 is undefined. And 0 over 0, although we want to think it's 1, it's actually what we call indeterminate, or we are unable to determine the number that it represents. The way that we do this is based on this idea right here. If I have 6 divided by 2 equals 3, how do I write that as a multiplication problem? Well, that's just 6 equals 3 times 2. All right, it's based on that idea. I can rewrite multiplication like division, and I can write division like multiplication. I can just go right back and forth. So let's start with this guy first. Why does 0 over a equal 0? So let's start with 0 over a is equal to some number we don't know. We're going to try to fill in the box. So if I use the concept that we used above with 6, 2, and 3, I can rewrite this as multiplication. So that's 0 is equal to box times a. And what is the only number that can possibly go in that box? Well, the only way that we can multiply a real number times a number and get 0 is if this number in here is also 0. So that means that that number goes in here. So 0 over a equals 0. Now, let's go to the next one. We're going to start with a over 0 is equal to box. And we're just going to pretend, oh, you know, we don't know what the answer is, but we want to fill in the box. So let's go ahead and rewrite the division as multiplication. So a equals 0 times box. And then step back and take a look at that. What number could we possibly put in that box so that when I multiply it times 0, I get a number that is not 0? Well, to be honest with you people, there is no number that can go in this spot. No number can go here. Because any number that I put in here times 0 is going to give me 0. So that's why we say a over 0 is undefined. Because there's no number. There's no number defined out there that we can put in that box. So we say it is undefined. Last but not least. Why is 0 over 0 indeterminate, or we can't determine which number it is? So last time, 0 over 0 equals box. Rewrite as multiplication. 0 equals 0 times box. And then you say to yourself, self, what number, what unique single number? Because math is based on uniqueness. If it's not new, unique, we say it's indeterminate, or we can't determine what number it is. But how many numbers can go in the box where I can multiply it by 0 and get 0? Well, there's an infinite amount of them. I can put 1 in the box. I can put 2 in the box. I can put pi in the box. I can put minus 37 in the box. I can put any of those in the box. And I'll always get 0 times that number is 0. So since the number here is not unique, in other words, there's a bunch of them that can fit in there, that's why we say this is indeterminate. I cannot determine, I'm unable to determine which number goes in the box. So it's definitely not 1. It can be 1, but it can be any other number, so it's indeterminate.